Hello, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create post tagged text by using tagant. Before we start, let me explain what a post tagged text is. Post is an abbreviation of part of speech, and a post tagged text has each word tagged by its part of speech. Let me show you what a post tagged text looks like. This is how it looks. You can see that each word in the text is followed by a post tag. But it's a little bit hard to read this text, so let me explain the details by using some of the sentences here on the PPT slide. Okay, on the left side are some sentences from the original text, and on the right side is its tagged version. You can see that the word Y is followed by WRB, which is a tag for WH adverb, and punctuation is tagged with punctuation, and the word LET is followed by VB, which is a tag for verb. You can learn what different tags mean later in this video. Also, contraction forms are automatically separated into two words. For example, can't here is separated into can and not like this. We can create this tagged version by using some post tagging tools. Now, I'd like to show you how to create a post tagged text by using a tool called Tagant, which is devised by Professor Lawrence Anthony, who you may know is the developer of Anconc. To use the tool, First, you need to go to Professor Lawrence Anthony's website and download Tagant. If you don't know how to find the site, just search for Tagant in Google. I've already downloaded on my computer here, so I'll open it by double-clicking the icon. When you start Tagant, this window should pop up. And as you can see, on the left side, there are two options to input your original text. The option on the top can be used if you want to input your text just by typing it or copy-pasting it here like this. Then you just press Start on the bottom here, and you can get its tagged version on the right side here. And you can change the options like language, display information, output format, and line endings depending on your needs. And FYI, if you click the Help tab on the top left and choose View Selected Tag Set, this window will pop up. Here you can see what each tag stands for. On the left are tag types, and on the right are their descriptions. For example, JJ indicates that the word is an adjective in English. Okay, let's move on to the second option, which is input files. This option can be used when you want to upload an original file on the tool. To upload files, you can use these two buttons, Open Files and Open Directory. For this demo, here I've prepared a folder containing 20 chapter files of the novel Robinson Crusoe. So I will use 20 files in this folder. These files are not tagged. So just click this Open Directory button and choose the folder. Then just press Start on the bottom here. Then you can see the progress in this bar and the results here. We can see that all 20 chapters are uploaded. OK, let's open the files that I just tagged. To find the tagged text, you need to go to the original folder. In other words, the tagged folder is created under the original folder. 
My original folder is this. So when I open this folder, I can find a folder created and its name is tagged. So let me click this and open one of the files. Then you can see that the file has been tagged. Okay, that's pretty much it for post tagging text. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to upload these tagged files to Anconc for analysis. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.